Hello everyone, a blessed day to all of you. So our topic for this week is just a continuation of our topic last week about the overview of theoretical foundations in nursing. As a recap, uh, this course is a three unit subject. So this subject deals with the theories and history of the science of nursing. It explores the meta concept of the person, health, environment, and nursing as viewed by the different theorists. Um, as what you can see in our slides, no, these are the theorists of nursing, and we will talk about their theory in our next um, session or meeting. So likewise, this course includes non-nursing theories such as systems, developmental, and change theories. It will present how these concepts and theories serves as a guide and applied to nursing practice using evidence-based innovation. So this is the outline of my presentation. So we'll talk about concept theory and nursing paradigm so what is concept so let's define it if it is an idea or complex mental image of a phenomenon uh, for example an object property or event this is the major component of the theory and labels used to identify phenomenon so it is a building blocks of a theorist and the phenomenon of interest that's according to kaplan in 1964 as cited by ali good in his book in 2014. so it is an empirical phenomenon or any abstraction of how a person perceives an object that is not physically present or observed. Like for example, of an empirical phenomenon. Or let us define what is empirical phenomena. So it is the nature that gains information by observing or by observation or examples. Like um you gain what you learned about projectile motion when throwing a ball. You gain information of how the ball travels in the air. Okay, that's an example of your empirical phenomenon. This concept enhances one's capacity to understand a phenomena as it defines the meaning of a word. So, there are two types of concept. It can be your abstract and concrete concept. So, abstract means that these are the concepts that are indirectly observed or intangible. Um, these are those has no physical reference, no? example of your concrete or abstract concept such as freedom good and evil love feminine success morality all of those concepts are intangible so another type of your concept is what we call the concrete concept these are directly observe or tangible an example of your concrete object is like your bp apparatus okay so let's talk about theory as mentioned a while ago these are um um made by concepts no these are a set 
of interrelated concepts that give a systematic view of a phenomenon. Could be an observable fact or event. That is actually explanatory and predictive in nature. Again, there is a group of related concepts that propose actions that guide our practice, especially in the nursing practice. And another um, definition of theory is that it is a group or it is a set of logically interrelated concepts, statements, propositions, questions that are have been derived from your philosophical beliefs of a specific data and uh, from which questions or hypotheses can be deduced, tested, and verified. Then your, your theory will uh, guide our practice. So there are characteristics of a theory. Theory can correlate concepts in such a way as to generate a different way of looking at a certain fact or phenomenon. It must be logical in nature. It should be simple but generally broad in nature. It can be a source of hypothesis that can be tested for it to be elaborated. It contributes in enriching the general body of knowledge through the studies implemented to validate them. And theory can be used by practitioners to direct and enhance their practice, like as nurses, no later on. Of, um, that's why, as a student, no, upon entry in nursing profession, uh, one of the first subjects that you will encounter is the theoretical foundation of nursing because you need to be equipped with theory you know, as your guide or as your foundation in your practice later on. And it must be consistent with other validated theories, laws, and principles but will leave open and answered issues that need to be tested. So meaning, kung meron mang bagong na-create na theory, um, it should not be uh, opposing to the uh, validated theories, no? Or sa laws natin, and mga principles of doing the practice. So hindi siya dapat oppose, um, dapat, um, Ano siya, consistent siya with that. And then, from that, makakakuha tayo ng um, another topic, no, from uh, by comparing it to the existing existing theories and laws, no, pwede tayong makaku makak makita natin yung gap, no, and then that will create another study, no, another study for research. So, uh, we know that nursing theory is again um, a related concept that derive actually from nursing models and other disciplines. And it will guide our practice and education and in research. So, there are components and characteristics of theory according to Chin and Kramer in 1999. Okay, number one component, your purpose. No? And the characteristic is it should be stated explicitly. Or at least be identifiable in the text of a theory. Meaning, it should be clear in detailed manner. No, And it should not leave a room for confusion or doubt. And another component is your concepts. It should be linguistically expressed or in words that is understandable. Definitions, it means, or the character characteristics of definitions is the meaning of concepts are conveyed in theoretical definitions. 
These definitions give character to the theory. So, the fourth component is relationships. Uh, these are concepts that are structured into a systematic form that links each concept with others. And the fifth one is the structure. It refers to the relationship that are linked to form a whole when the ideas of a theory interconnect. So, structure makes it possible to follow the reasoning of the theory. So, another characteristic is assumption. Refers to underlying truths that determine the nature of concepts, definitions, the purpose, relationships, and structure. It may be explicitly or may be not explicitly stated. So, let us proceed to uh, nursing theory itself. So, again, it is a group of related concepts that derive from the nursing models and other disciples. So, it guides our practice in education and in research. So, we have a lot of theorists in nursing. So you have to take note there that nursing as an art relies on knowledge gained from practice and reflection of past experiences. And as a science, it is based on scientifically tested knowledge that is applied in the practice setting. So, what are the purposes of nursing theory? So again, our nursing theory guides knowledge development and it directs education, research, and practice. Although all of these terms, the four terms, are uh, interrelated or they influence each other. to remember also that when a nurse uses a theory or a theory-based evidence to structure their practice, it improves the quality of care. So, what is the purpose of nursing theory and education? Is it prepares the student for practice as members of the professional community? Uh, through studying the models or paradigms is an orientation to the approaches used in practice. It is by studying theories and practicing with them that the students learn their way. So, sa school pa lang, equip na kayo with theory, in explore ni na ang mga different kinds of theory for you to be able to understand um, what kind of theory that you will use later on for you to be able to apply it later on in your practice. But may may encounter kayong certain um, situation, like for example, um, ano ba yung, yung problem or ano ba yung situation na na-encounter mo? Is it about hygiene, yung problem ni patient? Or uh, maybe you can uh, use the theory of Florence Nightingale about environmental theory or um, may na-encounter kang isang um, situation na yung nakuha mong upon assessment yung nakuha mong nursing diagnosis or nakita mong problem doon sa patient is about adaptation okay, maybe you can relate it to the theory or you can apply the theory of sister cholesterol so that your your um, your patient care is effective, no? Maging effective ang iyong, ang iyong um, patient care. Okay? So, let us proceed. No? Theories provide general focus for curriculum design. 
and it guides the curricular uh, decision making no of what are the uh, competencies that are needed to develop a competent nurse in the future so from the theory we 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 the curricular uh, decision making can um, design a certain curriculum na nandun lahat yung mga kailanganin of a professional nurse or competency that are necessary for a for a professional nurse. Serious enhance the status of nursing profession, of course, uh, para patuloy yung development of our profession. And then, on research, um, theory offer a framework for generating knowledge and new ideas. So, once na may nabasa kang isang theory, meron kang makakapag-create ka ng questions. Ano ba? Um, is it, this, is, ano ba ang kulang of this theory? And maybe you want to fill the gap, no? Uh, or the, what is lacking in the theory, and then you can create another study. Likewise, um, theory helps connect the perceived gap between the theory and practice. So, um, so school, uh, we are dealing or we are studying more on theory than when you are in the practice. It is the application you know, of the skills you learn from the school. And then, as you apply the skills, ma-observe ma ninyo, sometimes there is really a gap between the theory and the practice. And for you to be able to fill in the gap, uh, you will create a hypothesis, questions, and then it will guide you to do another research para ma-fill yung gap, to fill in the gap between the theory and practice. It is very important na ma-fill in natin yung gap between the theory and practice so that our nursing care will be very effective. And theory offers a systematic approach to identify questions for study select variables, interpret findings, and validate nursing interventions. So, uh, what is the purpose of theory Neman on clinical practice? It will guide critical thinking of a nurse. If you are facing a certain situation, you can think back. No, ano bang ginamit na mga theory based on evidence? Ano ba yung effective care or effective um, procedure para to answer uh, the current situation that you are facing para maging effective yung, uh, yung patient care. Not only effective, but quality care. Represent status of nursing as a discipline and profession and can be used as a framework for structuring nursing practice with predictable outcomes and deriving new middle range theories to test in nursing research. So, marami pa talaga tayong makikita. Marami pang changes. So, maraming different kinds of diseases. Like, recently, di ba, bago lang, just two years ago, yung COVID-19. So, maybe, we can create na naman, no? Pwede tayong mag-isip, makapag-create ng hypothesis, ng questions, kung ano ba yung um, proper way, ano ba ang magandang um, patient care for patient um, suffering um, COVID-19. So, that's that's a uh, new topic. no? So, palagi talagang may mga bagong topics, may mga bagong um, kailangan natin pag-aralan. So, the theory also helps us in development of nursing knowledge or nursing science and serves to guide in assessment, intervention, and evaluation of nursing care. So, it will assist nurse to describe and explain and predict the everyday experiences. So, meron ka nang, from the theory kasi, so parang may, may knowledge ka no, no? Um, halimbawa, encounter mo itong situation na to, hindi na siya unfamiliar to you, but familiar na para sa'yo. And you can you can describe, you can explain, and you can even design a nursing intervention 
by using your nursing process and then you can predict what would be your evaluation kung ito yung gagawin mo kung ito yung um, a procedure na ipe-perform mo like for example uh, TSB, pag pinunasan mo ba si patient so predictable mo, mapipredict mo that you can lower the temperature of the client kapag pinupunasan mo if you do the TSB and provide rationale for collecting reliable and valid data about the health status of clients which are essential for effective decision making. Likewise, it will help to establish criteria to measure the quality of nursing care. So, by the theory, you can create, no, as mentioned ko kanina, pwede tayong mag-isip ng uh, the curricular designer, pwede mag-isip mag ng um, competency, kung ano ba yung competency na dapat sa isang professional nurse. So, from that, pwede tayong gumawa ng criteria or you, you, can, you can have your checklist na ito dapat ay um, ma-perform, no? performance checklist na ito ay dapat ma-perform ng isang, halimbawa, level 1 students, level 2 students, ito dapat ang competency na ma-develop sa kanya. Level 3 students, ito na yung dapat nag expose na sila sa operating room. Yan. So, those are uh, example, no? That at the, at the at level 3, the students uh, is now able to um, to assist in a surgical procedure kasi meron na silang maraming knowledge na develop na yung kanilang skills um, yung theories so marami na sila noon that they can use in the practice and you have to note also that um, as a nurse by, uh, by the guide of a theory um, it is very uh, easy for the nurse now to organize patient data, to understand the data of the patient, to analyze the data of the patient, and in making decisions about what kind of nursing intervention, okay, what would be the plan of care for the patient. And again, kapag meron ka ng plan of care, napipredict mo na yun that if you do a certain interventions, ito yung possible outcome, ito yung possible evaluation. Like example, if you, uh, uh, if one of the problems sa yung patient na pan-assessment, na panduhing your applying your nursing process, na pan-assessment, uh, you create your nursing diagnosis, then a pan-assessment merong pain na complain si patient, no? One of your independent nursing function is to uh, lessen the pain of the client. And what would be your independent nursing action? Like for example, you can teach the client ma a breathing exercises para malesen yung kanyang pain or you can play a music therapy. Um, meron namang mga studies saying that music therapy can help in decreasing the pain of the client. So that's your independent nursing action. So alam mo na kapag pinerform mo yun, your evaluation um, makapredict mo that the pain of the client will be less. And for example, kanina, if the pain is um, 8 out of 10, no, uh, 0 as no pain, 10 as worst pain, and then the patient say, um, nasa 8 ang kanyang pain scale. So your target is your plan is to lessen the pain at least 5 or 4. So after breathing exercises, Okay, so, pinagawa mo yung intervention na yun, then you can predict that your evaluation should be um, after breathing exercises, the patient's pain will be lessened from um, 8 to at least 5 uh, pain scale. So, that is an example. Then, let's proceed. So, a theories help build a common nursing terminology to use in communicating with other health professionals. So you might be able to create a, a concept or a new a word with uh, definitions, no? Para maging terminology natin. So enhance autonomy of nursing through defining its own independent function. So na mention ko na yung example kanina, yung independent function natin is yung 
procedure that we perform to the client. Example, no, yung sa pain, hindi, hindi yung giving medication because giving medication, that is a dependent function of a nurse because you cannot give medication to the client without doctor's prescri prescription. But you can lessen the pain of the client uh, using your independent function by um, teaching the client uh, breathing therapy or breathing techniques or uh, meditation or um, music therapy. No, may mga studies then about that. Or um, my fever is a client, so you can you can decrease the temperature of the client after thirty minutes by providing uh, TSB or total sponge but uh, in Tagalog or in layman's term yung pinupunasan mo yung patient that is your independent function but once you provide or you give medication like paracetamol that is already a dependent function because um, bam, nabibili naman over the counter yung um, paracetamol still um Ano pa rin yan? Medication pa rin yan and under the responsibility of the doctor. So, therefore, if you give a paracetamol or any medication, that is already a dependent function. So, um, theory facilitates reflection, questioning, and thinking about what nurses do. Ano pa ba ang ating gagawin for us to be effective uh, so that you, we can provide quality care to our client. And uh, theory provides introduction to any framework encourages nurses to reflect on questions and think about what they do to provide an invaluable service. So, parang katulad lang yan ng mention ko kanina. So, mag-iisip tayo from theory, we can, pwede tayong mag-isip ano ba yung pwede pa nating independent uh, functions as a nurse. So, let us now move on to the classification of theory. So, uh, Aligod 2710 uh, classified theory according to the following. So, number one is nursing philosophy. So, it is the most abstract type and sets forth the meaning of nursing phenomena through analysis, reasoning, and logical presentation. An example of this kind of theory are the works of Nightingale, Watson, Ray, and Banner. And another classification. So, nursing conceptual model. These are comprehensive nursing theories that are regarded by some as pioneers in nursing. So these theories address the nursing meta paradigm and explain the, rush, the relationship between them. An example of this kind of theory are the works or models of Levine, Rogers, Roy, King, and Oren. So, another one is the Grand Nursing Theories. Our works derive from nursing philosophies, conceptual models, and other grand theories that are generally not as specific as middle range theories. So, an example of these works are the work of Levine, Rogers, Oren, and King. So, middle range theories. These are precise and answer specific nursing practice questions. So, more on nursing practice. They address the specifics of nursing situations within the perspective of the model or theory from which they are derived. An example of this uh, type of theory are the works of Mercer, Reed, Michel, and Barker. So let us proceed to nursing paradigm. So here we talk about conceptual models, conceptual framework, and meta paradigm. So meta paradigm is the most uh, general statements of discipline and functions as a framework 
in which the more uh, restricted structures of conceptual uh, model develop. Much of the theoretical work in nursing focused on articulating relationships among the four major concepts, such as the person, environment, health, and nursing. So, may mga definitions tayo. On person or client or your patient, they are the recipient of nursing care including individuals, families, could be groups, and communities. It refers to a being composed of physical, intellectual, biochemical, psychosocial needs, um, a human energy field, a holistic being in the world. Uh, it is an open system, an integrated whole, an adaptive system and a being who is greater than the sum of his parts. And let us define environment. Okay. It is the internal and the external surrounding that affects the client, including the people in the physical environment, such as families, friends, and significant others. It also refers to the external elements that affect the person. It could be internal and external conditions that influence the organism. Again, this, are, this could be the significant others with whom the person interacts with. Um, an environment is an open system with boundaries that permit the exchange of matter, energy, and information with human beings. So another major concept of your nursing paradigm is health. It refers to the degree of wellness or well-being that the client experiences. It is the ability to function independently. What does it mean? Uh, when a person is healthy, uh, that person is capable of doing the activities of daily living. Like for example, um, bathing, eating by eating by herself, no? kakain siyang mag-isa, or um, cooking, kaya niyang ipagluto yung kanyang sarili, kaya niyang maglinis ng bahay, kaya niyang lumakad mag-isa. Those are example of um, ability to function independently. Or successful adaptation to life stressors, just like now, diba? we are currently, we are experiencing the yung mga problem na dala sa atin ng pandemic, ng no, COVID-19. So, maraming nawala ng trabaho, maraming students na hindi nakapag-aral or nakapag-aral man, pero maraming stress around. Okay, so, masasabi din natin healthy ang isang individual kapag kaya niya mag-adapt with the uh, despite na napakarami ng stressors sa paligid niya, kaya niyang mag-adapt. Achievement of one's full, uh, one's full life potential and unity of mind, body, and soul. So, kapag, kapag uh, masasabi din natin healthy ang isang individual kapag pareho yan, no? may unity ang kanyang mind, body, and soul. Hindi lang yung healthy ang kanyang physical, ang kanyang body, but psychologically, meron naman pala siya ang mga problems, may mga iniisip, so that is uh, still unhealthy pa din. So, kahit healthy yung physical <clears throat> um, physical aspect ng isang individual, nakita mo healthy siya, macho siya, maganda siya, or sexy siya, pero it doesn't mean na healthy talaga siya kung meron naman siyang problems psychologically, or mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. Okay? Another uh, major concept of your nursing paradigm is, of course, the nursing. Um, tayo yan. Okay? So, are the attributes, characteristics, and actions of the nurse providing care on behalf of or in conjunction with the client. So, when we say nursing, um, it, it is, we are referring to caring, no? Caring. Nursing is caring. It is also a science, an art, and a practice discipline that involves caring. 
And the goals of nursing include care of well, care of the sick, assisting of self-care activities, helping individuals attain their human potentials, and discovering and using natural laws of health. So as you can see, a nurse should be helping the client, should be caring the client, not only physically, but holistically. And of course, by using a systematic method, no, because it is a science, so when we say systematic method, it should be based on science, based on evidence, on research, on study. Okay. So that actually ends my presentation for this um, topic, but you can also watch the another topic for this week, the theory of Florence Nightingale and Dorothy Johnson. No, it's in a separate uh, video files. So to end this presentation, let me. Um, read this to you a quote by Maya Angelou as a nurse we have the opportunity to heal the mind soul heart and body of a patient of our patients their families and ourselves they may forget your name but they will never forget how you made them feel so thank you everyone for your attention. Thank you for your time. God bless everyone. See you next week. And these are the references of this presentation.